Hello, spelling group number three. This is Monday, September 14th, and we are going, I'm going to give you your first 10 words, and then Wednesday, five words, and then Friday, your spelling test, all right? Okay, so make sure you write, um, actually, you guys should all have a spelling book, all right? So we don't have to write, not write, write name and date. So we left off. Oh, we left off section N3 on number 10. We left off on dollar. So I'm going to give you 10 words. Um, you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm only going to give you 10 words this week. They're a little bit hard, okay? So I'm just going to give you 10 words so there will be no video on Wednesday. I will give you a test on Friday. All right? So there's no excuse for you not to get 100%. I hope you get 100 because uh, you have five days to study just 10 words. All right? And then next week we'll do the 10 and the 5 because they're not so hard. All right? So your first new word is number 11 on your page, which is going to be the second column. Chicken. Chick N. Chick N is two syllables. Chick with a, you're going to use sh and two letter k as your multi letter phonograms. Write it first and then check it with mine. All right. Okay. So. We've got a multi-letter phonogram here. Ch, k, sh. That's three sounds. It says chicken. Ch is the first sound. So it's the first sound. We don't need to mark it. Just underline. E is the first sound. There's a multi-letter phonogram. And then we have N. That's the first sound. We don't need to mark anything. All right? All right. There's a rule that we very rarely see, but why do we not, why do we not use chick or chick like this? There's a rule that says that you use the multi-letter phonogram before, I think it's before, no, I'm sorry, after, after a vowel that says its first sound. So if this says I, chai, then it would be one would be probably this one okay but bef when it when a first letter vowel comes which is a a a a a then we use a two letter k. your next word is mistake 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 that's not a compound word because it's not a m i s s as in i miss my mom Okay, so if it was, then it'd be two words put together to make one compound, but it's it's not that kind of a miss, all right? Two syllables. Mistake. Okay, we don't have any multi-letter phonograms, no second sounds. This says its first sound, so we move on to the next syllable. Cake, all right? There's a silent E. First rule, it's there to say, tell the vowel to say, the A to say A. So rule number one, miss A. All right. The second word is category. Okay. We've got to take it one syllable at a time. Otherwise, we're not going to know how to spell it. Listen, cat. A, go, re, cat, e, e, go, re, category. Okay, that's four syllables. Let's write the first one. Cat, e, go, re. All right. Cat. I don't see anything that needs to be marked. Now, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I just realized that when I said cat-e-gory, it said 
cat e go re e it's at the end of a syllable so a vowel at the end of a syllable says its second sound cat e go go o a o second sound also it's at the end of a syllable okay and then re it sounds like a e from e i e it is e but we change it to ya e i because English words do not end in I. All right. The next word is burial. And we say burial, but it's bur e all. Bur er as in church. E all. Three syllables, all right? There mm, it all. Okay. Now, bur burial. It's, we say bur burial, but it's not really, we, it's, we shouldn't say burial. It's bur burial. Because bur is in church. Now, this does not say I. This is here because the root, what I'm going to write, don't write it unless you want to, okay? The root word for burial is burial. We use Y, bur -i, because English words are not in an I, so we put a Y. But when we add an ending over here, like all, very all, if I want to add all, very all, it's no longer at the end of the word. So now it can be an I. Okay. But remember, it was very, eh, very, eh. So this is an eh. It's not an I. If it was an I, we would underline it. That's why it's not, even though it's the end of a syllable, it still remains the same sound when it's not the root word, okay? All right, that's four. The next one is bulletin. Bull, le, tin. Bull, le, tin. Three syllables. Bull, le, tin. We say bulletin, but we spell bull, le, tin. Bulletin. Okay. No multi-letter phonograms. Let's see what sound it is. This is a a u u. Bull. A u u. Bull. It's a third sound. Okay. We're going to put a three there. Li. End of a sentence. Bulletin. And then ten. There's nothing there. Okay. And you know what? While I was giving you these words, I realized that. My other two spelling groups on Wednesday, when they are going to get a spelling video, my numbers are going to be off. So there's, it's going to be their video number 12 on Wednesday, and your video number 12 is going to be on Friday, and they're going to have video number 13. So in order to keep all the numbers even, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because they're hard, instead of all 10 today and nothing on Wednesday, I'll give you five today and five on Wednesday, all right? But it's just going to be 10 words this week because they are hard. Instead of writing them six times, why don't you try writing them? Because I'm giving you less, write them 10 times. And I need I, what you need to do is when you write them, sound out what you're writing with your mouth. So you're writing cha, e, two letter k, n. Cha, e, two letter k, n. Say what you're writing and you'll hear yourself. You'll see it with your eyes and you'll remember it better. But most numbers are written and the syllables, all right? So I'll put out a video with five more words on Wednesday. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.